Hoy es un día especial para la Escuela 30. Today is a special day at Alexander D. Sullivan School. Students from Jersey City Public Schools and their parents are invited to join the STEM 101 conference sponsored by Latinas in STEM. Latinas in STEM 101 is a series of nationwide workshops developed by Latinas in STEM Foundation focused on inspiring students and their parents to pursue and thrive in STEM fields. All students in grades three to eight attending Jersey City Public Schools were invited to participate along with their parents. We have lots of exciting activities planned involving science, technology, engineering, and math. Come see for yourself. I'm excited to be in my county. I grew up in Hudson County and I'm really excited to be here in Jersey City uh, to be able to bring this program uh, to such an amazing district. The people we've been working with here in Jersey City have been unbelievable. Um, the effort that they have put in to make this event possible has been phenomenal. I hope to inspire them. I hope to, to inspire them to pursue or at least be interested in science, technology, engineering, and math, to not shy away from it, to not write it off as, oh, it's boring or I don't get it. I really hope that they get excited and um, they're inspired to continue uh, learning more. As a product of an urban public school, um, I didn't have opportunities like this. Um, what happened is we would get more sports and things related to sports or activities such as that. As a principal of an urban school, I hope to bring more activities and initiatives such as the Latinas in STEM to the school to expose students to science, technology, engineering, and math, to show them there are careers out there that they can take part in that they may never have the opportunity to see. So this is just the beginning today of something that we're hoping that will grow as in years to come. We registered over 300 students and parents for this event. Many of the parents are here to learn about STEM and uh, we're able today to offer financial literacy classes and STEM panel discussions in both English and Spanish. And not only that, the children are going to be making brush pots and they're getting ready for that afternoon competition. For today's event, we decided to partner with Latinas in STEM, Coda Dojo, and Shep. The reason why we decided to partner with these organizations is because we felt that they had a strong connection to STEM and that they had a lot to offer our students. In one, I know that Latinas in STEM in particular, the students had an opportunity to create brush pots and this is something that they've never done before. So this is a first for the district. This would go to the negative charge to ground it. Yeah. You have them. Got it. Good job. It's, it's educational, and then I get to build my first rule bar. I never um, built one before. There you go. Before. <laughs> See, we need to think about why it's going in a circle. Like how. Excited about today being part of this conference is watching the students think through the inquiry method. If you go around to these different classrooms and you see what's going on, there's a natural curiosity that's coming alive in the presentations and the projects that the students are working on. The big ones what you have to do is you have to take a black wire and a green wire and put it through the little holes because that's what's going to connect to your battery. Um, Me gustó mucho porque fue hecho por latinas especialmente por mujeres latinas que vienen desde abajo, que rompieron barreras, que demostraron y siguen demostrando una vez más que sí se puede, que no importa la condición económica en que una persona viva, sí puede llegar a adquirir una carrera universitaria, tener una posición en la sociedad, aspirar a ser alguien en el futuro y cambiar naciones a través del conocimiento. Since I had a big brush, I would need more motor. 
So I got two motors. Oh, and my thing battery. moving. So it could go faster. It would just move it. It got a balance. Now since I have the bigger Russells, it would move faster. I really want the parents to get a better understanding about the role of STEM and the importance of aspiring and encouraging their students to pursue fields in science, technology, engineering, and math. By the year 2020, there's going to be a surplus of one million jobs, according to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, in the STEM fields. And if we could start our children young, if we could support them at school and at home, I think we could make a profound impact on, our, on the children of Jersey City Public Schools. I decided to volunteer for this event because this event created an opportunity that I wish I had myself as a student growing up in an, in an urban area. It allowed me to give back to the community and to show my students that even though we're Latinos and that we're minorities, we can go and do things that maybe never even crossed our mind as a possibility. I think it's so important to show them that I care enough to be here to support them so that they themselves learn to care and believe in themselves. Yeah. We start doing stuff like this when we're little. When we grow up, we can be um, engineers, scientists, and, and teachers.